Man, 200 meters right. I've got a visual. Parachute, 600 meters, bearing 045. AI pair drop script. Today I'm going to show you how to implement a script into your mission that will enable you to pair drop squads of infantry. We're going to go to the map and we're going to go to this location. And I just want to let you know I'm using RHS mods. So we're going to go to Blue 4, then down to USA, USAF, then down to Planes, and then down to C-130J. We're going to place this plane and before I go further, our objective is going to to capture this airfield. So we're basically just going to fly to this airfield and, and pair drop over it. What we need to do is we're just going to face the plane in the direction we want him to go. And then we're going to edit the plane and we're going to give him a variable name. So the name is going to be TRANS, T-R-A-N-S, TRANS, short for transport. Hit OK. So next, we're going to give him some waypoints. And we're going to have a waypoint that's about midway. So make sure that your plane is highlighted. Right click. And then just place a move waypoint. And then the next waypoint is going to be just before the airfield. So we're going to place that right there. And then the last waypoint is going to be way out here. Alright, so that's our waypoints. Edit this plane again and we're going to set the height of this plane which is going to be this box here and the z-axis. So we're going to set this plane to 300 which puts it 300 meters up into the air. We're going to go to groups F2 and then we're going to go to US Army W and then to infantry and then we're going to put down a couple of squads. So we're going to have a squad. And basically we're going to fit three squads into this plane. So you basically just grab your squad, hover it over the plane, and when you see like the crosshair kind of icon, and drop it in. And then if you look at your the entities panel, you'll see that it shows the icon of a seat. That means all your squad members are in a seat. So next we're going to take another team here. We're going to give them an eight, uh, MG team. Place them. Place them in the plane so they're all seated now. I'm going to take a weapon squad. Place them as well and they're all seated. That's normally what you could fit. We could try to fit more but we're going to go with that. What I'd like to do is actually make this guy the player instead of the the plane. So now we're going to save the mission. I'm going to put it on Altus. We're going to name this Paradrop. We have a mission established. Next we're going to go to Scenario at the top and then we're going to go to Open Scenario Folder. Alright, here's our mission. I just put a script into the mission folder and the script is called eject.sqf. Let's take a quick look at it. So this script is a simple pair drop script. Author is Birkin. The parameters are vehicle and the altitude. So you could use this as your example. I'm going to give you guys a different code. So let's go back into the mission. What we need to do now is we're going to go to the second waypoint because the second waypoint is going to be the spot at which the uh, plane will basically eject all the soldiers. So what you're going to do is you're going to edit this waypoint and you're going to go to on activation and you're going to type in the following code underscore drop space equals left bracket trans which is the name of the plane comma 200 right bracket space e x e c v m space quotes eject dot 
SQF, and then end quotes, and then semicolon. All right, so about this code, trans is the name of the plane, 200 is the height above the ground that the plane will eject all the soldiers. So if you want to change this, if you want them to be higher or lower, then just change this number to whatever you want. So just hit OK and we're pretty much set. So keep in mind that this second waypoint, when the plane reaches this point, it's going to eject all the soldiers in the cargo of the plane. All the soldiers are going to be parachuting along this area. So if you want them to start sooner, then you just move the waypoint accordingly. We're going to save this and then let's check it out. So what happens is, once you are ejected out of the plane, uh, the parachutes are automatically deployed. I just happen to deploy mine right away, but that's what this looks like. Now to make this more interesting, if you wanted multiple planes to eject a lot more, here's a simple way to do that. Highlight everything here. And then press Control C to copy it, and then paste it. And we're just going to line it up here so that the uh, infantry squads get uh, draw ejected, same as the uh, first plane. So this plane, we're going to move a bit further back. We don't want them to collide with the plane in the front. To make that work. What you're going to have to do is change the variable name and so edit the plane. Variable name, anytime you copy something in the editor, it's going to add a underscore one to it. And if you repeat it again, it'll be two and then three, etc. We're just going to make this say trans one and just hit OK. Now go to the waypoint that the uh, squads get ejected on and in this code here add a 1 to it because this this is the plane's name variable name that is being used to call the script alright so that's that one if we wanted a, a third one we could do that too just press control V because you're already adding on your clipboard and let's move these guys just a little bit further back from the other guys and I'm going to just move this over a little, move this over a little, and then this is the second waypoint of the third plane, which we're going to put on the same, same spot. And since we're here, we're going to edit this one, scroll down, and we're going to name this Trans2. Hit OK. We're going to go back to the plane, edit the plane, and we'll name this trans 2. Alright, save that and let's check it out.
300 meters south. Alright guys, hope you liked that. I will link the script in the description of the video so you guys can download it and use it into your own missions. For more scripts, take a look at this playlist.